In this video, I'm going to show you how to do SEO for a coded website. Plus, I'm also going to show you a cool little hack that is not only going to improve your SEO, it'll get you new leads. It works for any niche, but the best thing is you can build and rank these sites for nearly zero dollars. All right, so first we need to build our custom website, which is going to be all HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. To do that, we're going to be using gitpage.site. The way it works is you fill in a form, AI generates it, it auto deploys it, and then you have a live site and you get a complete site, absolutely everything. Let's do that now. It's only going to take about two minutes. I'm going to use the website builder with video. I'll go through this pretty quick, but if you want to check it out, you can slow this down. Alrighty, so this is the website that's been generated. You can see it's fully featured and it has been built with pure code. So we have working menus, features section, we have a video that's embedded and we have everything else that you might expect on a high quality landing page for a website. The question is, how do we optimize this for SEO when it's a coded website? All right, so the first thing you want to do is navigate to your code repository. In this case, it's in GitHub. Now, here is all the code that is running to render that landing page we just took a look at. The first thing you want to do is just click on here, copy the raw file, and then we're going to take it over to bolt.new. Alrighty, on a new tab, I've just opened up bolt.new. Now, there are a couple of different versions of Bolt. I will leave a link in the description to bring you to the one that I'm using. Now, what I'm going to show you can all be done on the free plan. Once you're here, the first thing we want to do is just give it a quick prompt. What I've added here is, can you generate an index.html file using only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and render the text, hello world? All right, let's go. Okay, so it's created this basic index.html file. Now we're going to ask it to render our HTML file. So I've copied it. Now I'm just going to paste it in here. Our website is now rendered within Bolt. We can scroll down a little bit and it's all looking good. Don't worry about that the video isn't rendering through. It will be there when we deploy it. But everything else is there as you can see. Okay, now let's do the SEO. First, we're going to ask Bolt what the current meta title, meta description, H1, H2, H3, how many images, all this key information that Google looks for to understand what the site is and when to return it in search results. Specifically, what I've said here is, can you help with the SEO? What is the current meta title, meta description, H1, H2, H3, H4 tags, and the first sentence in the body of the HTML? Let's see what it says. Okay, now if I scroll back up a bit, I can see what it's returned here. So the meta title, Texas Web Design, the best websites in Texas. So that is what you get when you hover on the tab in the browser. The meta description, that is also what you will see along with the, the title in, in search results. So premium web design services in Texas offering free hosting and fast loading websites. Ideally, what we want is our keyword in our meta title, our meta description, our H1, and the first sentence of our the body of the text. In addition, it's returning how many H1, H2, and H3. Now, this is important because some people, when they generate sites using other tools, they copy and paste stuff all over the place and they add multiple H1 tags on the landing page. That is a big no-no. You do not want to do that. We just have the one, which is perfect. In terms of H2, you can have several. If you want to get a little bit technical, we can actually prove what it's saying here. The meta title, that is that bit right here. The meta description, that is that there. The H1, if you scroll down a little bit here, H1, there it is, Texas Web Design. It's pulling the correct information out. We can validate that. If we want to, we can ask Bolt to update it. So let's do that. 
I've just asked it to update the first sentence to ensure it has Texas Web Design. So out of the box, it actually generated a pretty well optimized site based on that, that primary keyword. And you can see that it's done this. It's told us how it's updated. It's changed it to Texas Web Design Experts at Crafting Premium Websites that Drive Results. So now we have our keyword Texas Web Design in all the main areas of the HTML that Google is looking and analyzing. Now we can also do some other things with Bolt. We can ask it what keywords is it seeing throughout the site. We can compare what it returns against the keywords that we're targeting. So keep in mind, these primary keywords, secondary keywords, these are the words that really just been generated when we did this quick site with Git page. And we can update these with actual keywords from our research for the site we want to actually go for. You know, we might change some of these around. We could increase the frequency of them. We might, we could ask Bolt to make sure that premium websites appears seven times, for instance, we could increase the density of web design agency for Texas. You can use Bolt to actually update this index HTML file to be fully SEO optimized. And you can do this with the other pages on your site as well. When you're finished, we can ask it to deploy this. Now you can see I've just asked it to deploy it to the web and it's going to say it's going to set up Netlify to do this. And then it's going to say, you know, click a link and it should open up. And it's running on local port 5173. And I can also click this to show that it's actually live and running. And here is our site. And if I hover on the tab, I can see Texas Web Design Best Websites in Texas. We also should see the video is rendering through now. All right, I'm going to show you how to build a little widget that you can add to any landing page or website. Not only is it going to boost your SEO, it's also going to let you capture the email addresses of some of the site visitors. Just quickly, if you want to level up your digital marketing game, head to ninja200.online. It has all the tools and resources that you need to succeed. All right, let's build our widget. So we're going to build an on exit pop up. And the reason these work really well is because it helps lower the bounce rate and it will collect those email addresses for you, depending on how you set it up. In order to do it, we're just going to ask Bolt to build this little pop up on exit when the user moves towards the navigation bar on the browser. Now, in Shopify and some other platforms, you might pay $10 or $20 a month to have an on exit pop up trigger, but we're going to do it for free. So I've added this prompt here. Bolt has finished making these changes and I did also ask it to redeploy the changes so I can test it. That has happened, but we should also be able to test it within this area here without leaving Bolt itself. If I head up towards the navigation area, the pop-up will trigger. And there you go. Wait, get our free ebook, discover the secrets to high converting website and your in our comprehensive guide. This click to access at the moment, I instructed it to move it to the footer. So if I click it, that's where it's going to go. What I'm going to do in here somewhere is I'm going to add a form that users can fill it in, add their email address, and that will trigger sending out the ebook to the user. I get their email address and then I can market it to them down the track. In addition, they spend more time on the site, which is what we want, right? So now it's time to generate our form. I've just gone on to SendGrid. I've created this form. All I need to do now is press share the code. And then I just want to click on this one here, direct embed, take that. We'll put that over in Bolt, get it to embed it, and we're all done. Alrighty, so back on Bolt, we're just going to ask it to embed this form. I'm just prompting Bolt here to add the form. All right, so Bolt has finished embedding the form. If we scroll down, we should be able to see it. Ah, a bit like the video, it's not going to render here. So if we click on the link here, we can see our form. There it is. So when the user goes to exit, get the free book, they click the link. That's also going to send a good signal to Google because they're interacting with the site. It sends them down to this area here. They complete it. And depending on which form you're embedding and which tool, it kicks off the workflow to send them the ebook, or you can actually just make it download the PDF on the spot. I hope you've got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or if you run into any trouble, 
let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. And I look forward to catching you in the next one.